Hi, can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Jack Dorsey and I'm the founder and chairman of Twitter. And you're an entrepreneur and you work on, on the web? I work on the web. Yeah, yep. and yep. what's your idea of the digital identity? Um, well, digital identity is, is pretty interesting because we have, we, you know, there's, there's a number of places where we have um, personas stored. We have them on Twitter, we have them on Facebook, we have them on LinkedIn and, you know, MySpace and, and all, these, all these places. Um, and, and then we also have them in our activities, you know, what, what we actually do online. So I think, uh, I, think, I think there's disparate parts of digital identity, but I also think um, it'd be good to collapse them more in some way and to provide a, a more cohesive vision of, of identity online. And what about online reputation? I think uh, that phrase, I mean, is, is kind of a, a natural thing out of how you use a system. So based on the activity and based on like your updates and, and what you share and what you don't share, um, you build a reputation that, that other people trust or, or don't trust. Um, and, and this has been with us for, for quite some time and it's been codified and, and made into a product by, by some companies such as you know eBay and you know the power seller aspect um, but uh, I think uh, I think what's most interesting is the the essence of it is just by noticing how someone interacts with the um, with the technology like like Twitter what are, what do their updates look like you know um, how many times are they replying to people how many times are they retweeting um, you know and and do their links lead to you know factual information or, or whatnot so it's a really interesting field um, and, and there's certainly a lot of work to be to be done in it um, but I haven't haven't really seen anything um, come out of the, the, the new the new work and what, what's your approach to the digital footprint all the, the thing that regards yourself that's online do you prefer some kind of tools to manage what people say, or just normal search engines? Uh, well, I mean, uh, I think um, you know you're responsible for what you put put out there, and I think it's the responsibility of the of the technology companies building these technologies to provide as many controls as possible for privacy and you know taking back um, messages if if that's if that's you know even even possible. Um, but uh, you know, it, it's something that's evolving and, and something that's always going to change. And in your uh, personal usage, your personal use, do you um, search for information about people that you're going to meet in the next future? You know, you schedule a meeting with someone you don't know. Do you usually go online to search about him? Um, not as much anymore. Um, I I like being surprised. Um, if it's someone I've never met and never seen a picture of, I might just say that I can recognize the person. But uh, I, I don't, I don't really, I don't really do that. Um, oftentimes nowadays, I'm, I'm introduced via uh, Twitter and, and you know technologies like these. So I already have a sense of the person, and you know I read a few of their, a few of their tweets, and um, there's a picture right there. So searching isn't as, as necessary for me. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.